Have you ordered your cap and gown yet? I got halfway through the form and realized how expensive it was getting, so I had to stop. You know, funny story about that, okay? I haven't even looked at the form yet. I kind of thought that I would just use my older brother's cap and gown because they don't ever change them anyway. Yeah, that's a good idea. I just don't know why we need them. We're just going to be sweating in it the whole time, and then we just have to walk across stage and get a piece of paper and a photo. I don't understand. At least you get a picture of old Principal Chastain smiling for once. <laughs> when yeah. does that guy ever smile? <laughs> I guess you're right. Got to capture the moment while you can. Speaking of which, um, do you know what you're doing for the fall yet? Like, are you talking about where I want to end up or where I'll probably end up? Oh, man. Your, your dad's not still on that, is he? Is he still trying to get you to work at the mill? Yeah, well, I talked to him about it, but he hates talking about college. And apparently I ruined his college life, so apparently I don't deserve to have one. Rob, that's ridiculous, okay? He knows how much you love physics, right? Yeah, it's just the way it's always been. Like, I want to go somewhere with a great physics program, but I don't want to end up in the community college. I just don't... I just don't want to wash up there. Okay, hold up. The community college isn't that bad, okay? It's in my top three. Landon, you want to be an English teacher. The community college is perfect for you. And I don't even know if Dad will let me leave the county for school. And I haven't even thought about where I'd go if I didn't go there. Look. This fair tomorrow looks pretty cool. There's supposed to be a bunch of representatives from a bunch of colleges. I think it'd be good for you to go, don't you think? Yeah. I guess so. I mean, I've never really been the one before. I just don't know how many schools are going to be there. Well, look at the flyers, Sherlock. Learn about what universities have to offer for you. Over 45 real college representatives to meet. See? Over 45 colleges, okay? That's crazy. After you leave that fair, there are going to be universities and colleges fighting to see who gets you. Yeah, I... I guess. I just don't know, like, what what will be offered there and if they'll even accept me. Rob, what's your GPA? I don't know. Like, last I checked, it, it was 4.4. 4.4? You know, most colleges and universities only want a 3.0 for most scholarships, and that's if they're being nitpicky. Oh, really? Yeah. Look, that's it. We're going to the fair tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., bright and early. From now on... It's nothing but open doors for you, okay? I promise. All right. My dad went to the grocery store before I left this morning, so he's probably already hammered for the night. Pumped for a crazy Thursday night, right? <laughs> More like typical Thursday night. Oh, right. Well, I hear Boston University is going to have a table at the fair. Really? Yeah, they're actually in my top three. Boston University is in the top three with the community college? That's brave. Better to aim high and miss than aim low and hit, am I right? Sure. Uh, what time can you pick me up for the college fair in the morning? <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't the high school sweethearts. Good to see you too, Dad. Uh, this is Landon. You remember him, right? Good to see you again, Mr. Lowry. You know, whenever I was your age, I thought I knew everything. I mean, I knew where I wanted to go to college. I totally knew what I wanted to go for. Yeah. I remember, Dad. Yeah. You told me. Yeah, well, apparently, uh, you didn't listen close enough. That college fair that you and your girlfriend won't shut up about, well, it's the beginning of the end if you go. You want to hear what a glorious time going to the university is? I mean, it, it's a time where you're going to end up taking on a whole bunch of debt you can't pay off, and you end up dating a whole bunch of girls who just won't love you back. I mean, you think your life sucks now. Try meeting the love of your life on the fourth day of class and then having your life ruined because some little genius decides he's going to make an appearance. I could still have her, you know. I mean, I could still have your mother in my life if she wasn't killed by your grand entrance into this godforsaken world. So let me guess. You think I'm supposed to stay here after I graduate and work a dead-end job at the mill? I'm supposed to be a chip off the old block, wake up, get wasted, work, then go home and drink myself to sleep? You know, that life doesn't sound so bad. I mean, you just forgot one important thing. The snowflake that comes home every day who thinks he's got to change the world through his physics homework. Look, Rob, it's okay. We can go study. Yeah, I mean, you better listen to your friend here. You wouldn't want to lower that precious GPA of yours, huh? Yeah. Sure thing, Pop. Man, 
Man, I don't even see why Newton calls these laws. I mean, he, he was British. They didn't even have laws until the U.S. came along. Good one, Landon. I mean, you are the science buff, not the history buff. Sure. What I know about that? I don't get this, Rob. Newton's first law, okay? It says an object at rest remains at rest, or if in motion, remains in motion at a constant velocity unless acted on by a net external force. Okay, I'm supposed to teach English, and I have no idea what this means. So, essentially, that means that something won't move unless it gets pushed. Something won't slow down unless there's friction there to stop it. So, like a bowling ball, even though it's heavy, it just takes one push. Okay, well, why doesn't he just say that, then? He does. It's right... There. Are you blind? <laughs> yeah, real funny. Listen, Landon. I don't know if I could go to the college fair in the morning. Wait, what do you mean? We decided that you're going 6.30 tomorrow morning, right? Yeah, but you heard my dad. I can't just waltz out of the house that early. He's going to know what's up. Man, seriously? Just one push. What? Just one push, that's what you said. Once he sees how serious you are about this and that you mean business about this fair, I'm sure he'll let you go. Yeah, but did you literally not hear him? I'm gonna explain it to him, he's gonna get mad, and then the whole thing's just gonna fall apart. Look, 6.30 a.m., bro. I'll be downstairs outside ready to pick you up and take you to the school. Listen, the fair only comes once a year, right? Really? That was dumb. You know what's dumb? This lit analysis club I've got to go to. Tomorrow morning, okay? Bright and early. Don't leave me waiting long, okay? All right. Do I really want to do this? Making messes. Where are you going? I got the college fair. What? The, uh, the oh, no, you do not. College yeah. fair? No. Landon's here to pick me up. No, he is not. You are not going to this college fair. I already told you, you're not going, you piece of garbage. It's all it's gonna do is just ruin your life. What? What did you say? <laughs>
Listen, Turbo, if we're late because of you, I'm getting 20 bucks from the Rob Lowry Fund, all right? Yeah, a yeah, good one. So I guess your dad was cool with you going to the fair? Yeah, yeah. What, what did it take to convince him? <laughs> well, funny thing, I guess it just took one push.